Hello everyone. Welcome to this special training on how to make a leather traveling bag. My name is Funke Oyende and I'll be taking you through this training. Um, there are many designs and styles of traveling bag. So today we are just going to make one of those designs and I bet you it's a beautiful one. So let me quickly show you the materials we're going to use for our traveling bag. So this is our beautiful um, leather fabric we're going to use. Guess you like it. So now this is the body. You see the design of the traveling bag we want to use has the two sides and the top all you know in one piece so um that is what i have here yeah so this piece here contains the two sides and the top so let me give you the measurement it measures um i'm using a measurement of 37 inches 37 by 20 37 by 20 inches that is the body of the bag and this here is the base the base of the bag is separate that, that measures 13 inches by 20 inches 20, 20 by 13 inches that's the base and this one here these are the sides the two side you know okay you see what i mean this other one that i said the sides and the top is actually the front and the back the front the bar uh, the back and the top of the bag are together here so these are the sides the two sides and that one measures 13 inches by 14 and a half inches. Those are the two sides. So I will be shaping this side because I don't want it to be square like this. I don't want it to remain rectangular like this. I want a shaped top. I want the top of it to be rounded. So what I do is just to round the corner the top like this and you just fold it in two fold it like this and then use your chalk so i've done one i've done one of the sides so you just fold it use your chalk measure you know a share that um arc shape like this and then cut it out so that was what i did to get this rounded top so i will now transfer that shape to the second uh, side and I'll cut it out so that they will be the same so that is it I I'll be showing you the other things we will be using for this traveling bag okay so those are the two sides now I will be using this white leather here for the handle so i actually want to mix my uh, leather here with white so i'll be using this white um, leather here for the short handles you know so one will be on the front and the other one will be on the back side and the measurement is 25 inches by three and a half inches so we need two of that and um, i will also be using this white webbing along with um, my white um, leather here for the handle then i have this small this um, small shift leather material leather um here I, i'll be using them at the four corners of the body of the bag is just a, a sort of design it's just a sort of design you see this is the body of the bag so at the four corners here I will be okay it has a right side and a wrong uh, a left side so this one will fit in here yes you see so I'll be sewing this to the four corners of my bag just 
as a design do you i hope you understand and you can see what i'm doing so that is easy to do i started with a rectangle a small rectangle just like this and um, all i did you, you, you all i did was to just draw um the shape i wanted i just drew my shape onto the rectangle like this and i now cut it out so that was how i arrived at this shape and this cording here i will be using this cording inside of this um short handle here by the time i sew it this is what will be inside to make it roundish so then i'll be using all this hardware my zipper i'll be these are all the hardwares i'll be using I'll be using these rings for the handle this one too for the this is plastic hardware anyway that's what i want to use for the long handle at the sides and I'll be using all this zipper for the front pocket, the side pocket, and this one here, I'll be using it for the main compartment on top of the bag. And this one here is a big size um, zipper. This is size 10 zipper. And I'll be using size 5 for the other side, the side and the front pockets. And then I will be using this piping. I'll be using this piping to pipe the side of the bag. This this side of the bag will be carrying piping. So this is a piping. The piping is white. Originally it was black, but I covered it with white fabric so that it will match with the decor of my bag. You can see. The leftover place, the portion that I have not covered, that it was actually black. So when you cover your piping, it makes your bag, it enhances the quality of your bag. So I guess those are the materials I'm going to use for the bag. So the next thing now is to get to our sewing machine so we can start sewing. Now, before we start sewing, there's something I need to point out to you. There's still one step that we need to take. I told you that this big um, body of the bag contains the front, the back, and the top. Now, the top is where the zipper, the main, the zipper that opens into the main compartment of the bag will be. So, and I need to cut out the shape and cut out that portion. So, because it is sort of, um, it's um, this kind of shape, it's not a straight one so i need to do that and cut it out before we can start sewing i guess you see what i'm doing you see the shape i'm drawing okay so you just need to draw this so you draw the shape on your uh, fabric and then you cut it out Okay, so this is where the zipper is going to be. So you can see it's a roundish form of, so I'm going to sew my zipper there and then now put it back together. And another important thing is we're going to, I'm going to line the entire thing with my fabric lining. So all the various parts of the bag will be lined. So let's go to the machine. So as I begin the sewing, the very first thing I want to sew is... Uh, I want to sew the handles of the bags so I grab my leather and I'm going to fold it this way fold it both ways to the middle then I'll fold it on top of each other again and I'll be leaving a distance from the beginning of about three inches before I start sewing so that's what I'm going to do now. And as, as you begin to sew, it's good practice that you should oil your machine. Since it's PVC leather, it will help to aid 
movement on your machine so let me mark my three inches okay so i'm going to sew it in place so you stop when you have about three inches left at the other end okay so after sewing that in place the next thing is to insert this um, cord i showed you at the beginning and what i'm going to do is this because this cord is not rigid so it's going to be a bit challenging to insert it but i have this um, plastic dowel i'll be using it to you know clear the channel inside of this place so as i clear that channel so it becomes free so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to attach my wooden dowel has a little uh something like a clip or um what do i call it at the you know so i'm just going to attach this cord i'm just going to attach it to that end so let me just tie a rope to the cord and use use that rope to attach it to this um i'm going that's just what i'm going to do so i'm just going to attach them together okay so then i will now pull it in so as i pull as i push my cord my dowel inside to the other end then i pull, then i pull it and it is removed okay so i've attached it all over it means it wasn't tight enough so i've attached it all over and i try to make it tighter now so I'll now just put it in yeah so it has come out at the other end so i'm just going to detach this so now i have my cord inside of the leather handle so i'll just cut off the excess the excess cord because it's not so, the cord is not supposed to show at the end so it should be inside so the cord should not be as long as the handle okay so it has given my handle this roundish or cylindrical um, shape so the next thing is to I'm going to attach the rings to the end of the handles now so but i'll fold my handle in such a way that it will be smaller then i insert the the ring and i'll turn it to the back side and i'll sew it down on my machine you can also use rivet you can also rivet it in place instead of sewing if you like so but i'll be sewing this and remember to apply your oil for easy or easier movement okay so i'll do the same to the other side and do the same to the second handle so now my the handles are ready the bag handles are ready the short hand so i'm just going to keep this aside and go to the next face so what i want to do next is to sew the those um, tiny little leather to the corners of the body of the bag i told you about earlier and i have also um caught the lining and they put the lining at the back side of the leather you can see this is the body of the bag 
where we have the front and the back and then the top so right now i'm just going to sew this leather attachment to all the four corners well i'll have to not let i will not i'll not sew it on the lining so i'll just push the lining to one side and sew the leather to only the leather all right so that is attached to all the four corners right now okay so i'm now going to go to the next thing which is i want to sew the lining and the leather together around this place you know this is where this is the main compartment of the bag where the top of the bag is so i want to sew around this place so that the lining and the leather can be together okay now i've sewn the the two layers together so the lining and the leather are now still together so the next thing i'm going to sew my piping around it so i'm going to sew in my piping on that same zip area all right so I'm, I'm done sewing in the piping so the next thing i want to do now is to sew in the zipper to that same uh, point so i'm using my size 10 zip but it's not compulsory to use size 10 i just desire to use size 10 so i'm going to separate it in two and sew one half on top of the piping i just sewed in place now so i'm going to sew the zipper on top of feet right sides facing each other Okay, so after sewing in my zipper here, the next thing now is to just get a taping, taping or ribbon and cover this raw edge so that it will be neat. Then I go to the other side of the zip side. So it's now time to work on this side. You know, this is a side, the part of the zip part that was removed from here so we are now going to work on this one so i'm going to keep this one aside and i'm going to sew my pipe piping around this place from from here to the other end so after sewing in the zip the piping i'm going to now sew the zipper the second half of the zipper on top of the piping again right sides facing so after completing the, that so the next thing is to use my ribbon or taping to cover this inside rough edge and after that i will be coupling it together with the other side so it's time to couple them together so i'll be using my zip head the big the zip head to bring them together so i insert a little bit of the zip head on one side and a little bit on the other side and push the head in so i will now pull it in and it will now so i will put the second zip head at the other end so the two <coughs> zip head will now meet in the middle okay now so i've coupled the two together so it's time to sew the handle of the bag in place before i sew the handle in place i want to put a front pocket on one side so whatever the pocket is is going to be the front of the bag so i want the bag to have front pocket so what i'll do is i'll turn it to the other side open out the lining and i'll mark where my pocket is is a flat pocket so i'll just mark a straight line here for my pocket and i want to make sure that it's like in the middle 
of that front piece. Okay, let me bring it down a little bit. So let me just use something like this. So let me see what dimension I have at the sides, five inches here. Okay. okay, let me make it to this one. Okay, so now next I'm going to put draw something like you know this two marks because I'm going to open it out for the zip. So I make the ends of the line like a Y. Then I will now use my uh, razor blade and open it a little bit. Then I'll use my scissors to open out that place very well to insert my zipper so i will now open this y portion well yeah. so the next thing would be to sew in my zipper at this point so because of that portion i opened out you can turn where because we have we have to fold this one in and sew it down on top of the zip so this is a zipper that will be here so in order to make things easier i'm going to um put glue here and use my brush to spread it well around that portion so that we can glue down that part where the zip will be all right and allow you to kill But this leather is somehow thick, so I hope the glue will be able to hold it down. If the glue doesn't hold it down, we'll still we'll still sew it all the same. But because it's a thick leather, I don't know whether it will respond to the glue. <laughs> You just glue it so after gluing it down all around like that so the zip will now be you know it has created space for our zip so we'll now turn it to the right side and sew the zip in so I will now sew the zip all around so I'm going to sew the zip around that um, hole now. Okay, so that's it right there. I've sewn it around. So for it to become a to be a pocket, there must be uh, something that will have to be inside so that it will be a pocket. So we are going to use this uh, lining fabric to sew the pocket and then attach it to it at the back. So it's just um, like a rectangle and the width depends on you know how long your zip is so don't make sure it's a bit longer than your zip and then we're going to sew it this side and this side but you leave some space on top one should be longer than the other so don't let them be equal so you now sew the two sides so after sewing the two sides you can see that this side this part side is longer than this so you now turn the your bar to the back 
this longer side you're going to sew it to the upper part of the zip and this shorter side you will sew it at this lower part of the zip okay so let me sew the the shorter side in first so let me sew that one in So after sewing the short side, then I will now sew, turn it down and now sew the longer side on top on the upper part of the zip. So now we are done. So I now turn it <coughs> to the right side. Okay, in sewing my handle in. My handle is a combination of the leather handle I made earlier on and the belt, the webbing or the this other one that I showed you earlier on too. So that belt will just be the one that will sew down and then use my ring to attach it to the leather handle. So I'll be sewing this belt down now on both sides, on the front and the back. Alright, my handles are now sewn in place and the next thing is for me to join uh, the base to the side. So this is the base of the bag. So by the time I sew the base to this side and to this side, the bag is going to form, you know, a ring or like a circle. So I'm going to join the base to one side. That is it. Okay, this is the front of the back. This is the front. So I'm going to just sew the base to it right, now, right away. And you can see that my base is already carrying its own lining. So I'll just sew them together now. Okay, so after sewing the bottom to the body of the bag, you can see that the body of the bag is like completely, almost complete. So we only have the side here and there to finish off the bag. So let's work on the sides. All right, for the sides, I want to sew in this, um, this uh, side pocket. So I want to use this white leather. I'll just sew a zip on top of it. I'll sew a zip, black zip on top of it. And then I will now attach it to the front side of the side to form a pocket. So let me sew my zipper onto this white pocket first. So after sewing it down like that, so I will now top stitch it as I will like turn it in like this and sew it on top so that it will now lie flat. So you can see now that it's now flat. So I will now sew this to my pocket here. So but I'll, I'll, I'll turn the lining off so it doesn't so when I finish sewing it, I'll release the lining back. Okay, so now I will turn the zipper and sew it in this way and then turn it back. So now turn it back and sew the two sides down onto onto the um, side so I'll sew it down so I now bring the lining back and the next thing will be for me to sew my piping all around this and 
I will do the same to the uh, second side. You know, the sides are two. So, exactly what I've done here, I'll do it to the other side. So, as I sew the piping around, now I want to end, I want to close the piping. So, you get a little material that matches your piping. So this is white. I raise the piping at the both end, place the little material underneath, and then turn it on top, and I will now sew over it. So that is how to finish your piping. So everything will look continuous. So you won't be able to know. You know maybe the beginning or the ending so and now I am done with the sides of the bag and what is left is to just couple the bag so these are the two sides of the bag so those are the two sides so we just fix the sides to the body of the bag to complete the bag so i'm going to bring the side to the body make sure you get the middle of the top of this side and the middle here put them together and you can use your clip to hold them together all around so this is it. This is what it looks like after clipping up everything. See? So the next thing will now be to sew everything in place, this side and the other side. Alright, so after sewing the sides around, so the next thing will just be to get my ribbing or taping and cover all these raw edges for a very neat finishing cover all the inside rough edges and then i'll turn it right side out and we will be done all right so after turning out the bag this is our finished bag here how do you like this yeah so that's it and then um, I hope you enjoyed it and you can now make yours. I wish you all the best as you craft your own beautiful travel bag. Bye for now. Funke Oyende signing off. Bye.